Today I'm going to share a story with you, a personal encounter with Jesus that happened through a dream. It was a dream that I kept having. It was reoccurring, not every night, but regularly for a couple weeks. And this dream was a very short dream, but a very intense dream. I was driving in a car. It was dark all around. And every time I looked in the rearview mirror, I saw these two eyes. And the two eyes were the same two eyes that I saw every time I had this dream. And any time I looked at those eyes, just a fear just washed all over me. I woke up from this dream scared. You know, it says in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, that God did not give us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and sound mind. So I can say easily now, I know that dream was not from God. And I'll tell you why as I continue on with the story. A couple of weeks later, I was working at the small family-owned restaurant where I was a short-order cook and waitress. And I was in the middle of ringing up on the cash register one of the customers when this man walked in. Now, this restaurant that I worked at, 75% of the people that came in were regulars. I knew their name. I probably knew their family. I knew what they normally liked to eat. I know how they took their coffee. So when this man walked in, he was noticed, not just by me. And I, he also had very dark eye makeup on, very goth-like, and I don't... I mean, I don't have any bias towards that or anything. But he, he stood out for more than one reason. Well, I came up to the counter, and I looked in his eyes. And when I looked in his eyes, I, I had fear because I knew it was those same eyes from my dream, and I had no idea what was going on. So while I was cool as a cucumber on the outside, on the inside I was frantic. And I was crying out to God on the inside saying, God, help me. I'm scared. I don't know what to do. And I'm scared. Please help me. Tell me what's going on. Now, I was in the middle of checking out a man on the cash register, ringing him up. And his total was $6.66. Now, I didn't know all that much about the Bible at that time. But I know that 666 is a number that's correlated with the devil. And when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, am I dealing with something demonic right now, Lord? I mean, I just was so freaked out. Well, after that customer left, I asked him, can I, can I help you? And he said, he didn't want to buy anything. He wanted to ask me questions. And he said, well, what do you believe? And I said, what do you mean, what do I believe? And he said, what do you believe in? And I said, I believe in Jesus. <clears throat> Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And I can tell you, that never happened before. I never declared my faith in any way to the people that I, the regulars. Because I was embarrassed of being a Christian. I know that sounds so, so lame, but I'm just being as honest as I can be. And if you ever feel ashamed to share your faith, just know you're not alone. And two, stop. (laughs) Don't be ashamed. (laughs) Learn from me. Don't be ashamed. (laughs) And... The man had asked me what I believed, and I said, Jesus, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. And I I didn't want to keep talking with him, but then he said, well, and he started talking about different faiths and wanted to meet with me to talk more about different faiths. faiths. And I said, no, it's just Jesus. You know, that night, I had that same dream. And again, I was driving down the road, in darkness, and I looked in the rear view mirror, and the eyes were there again. The same eyes of the man that I talked with that day. In a moment, just in a quick instant, I was now outside the vehicle, but I still could watch the vehicle, and I yelled out, Jesus, help me. And I yelled out in my dream. Um, this is a dream still. And in that moment, the car blew up, and I watched the car blow up in front of me. You know, God used that dream to teach me what speaking out it, your faith, but, but more than speaking out your faith, that there's power in the name of Jesus. You know, I, I remember when I first started going to this church after I became a Christian, and they, there's power in the blood, there's power in the name of Jesus, and it just all sound way too intense. It just all sound really like... I am never going to have fun in my life again. This all sounds different and weird. 
And my friends, God used that dream because he needed to reveal his power to me. But, but not even just that, the power in the name of Jesus. When you call out, he's faithful to help. And I learned that. And it was so tender and so intimate that I, I, I'll never forget that story. I'll never forget that encounter. Because there's a very real God and there's a very real devil. And the name of Jesus has power to cry out and ask God for help. Whether you're fearful or facing something terrible. Or, or you don't know, like I didn't know what was going on. Well, tomorrow I'm going to share another personal encounter. But today I want to ask you, where have you seen God speak to you? How have you seen God speak to you? You know, you plus me equals we, and we are greater than me. And I'd love to hear how God has spoken to you in different and unique ways so we can encourage one another. I hope this story today encouraged your heart to consider God in a different way and to know that there is power in the name of Jesus. I look forward to sharing the next part and the last part of this series in two days. Tomorrow's What's Up Wednesday, but in two days. I'll see you soon.